Here's a quick video to show you how I take the screens on and off. Uh, first thing you want to make sure power's off and you want to take the battery off. You can do that by just pulling it straight off of the, the connector. Um, the uh, the connector for the uh, ribbon cable is has got two little hooks at the end and you have to slide that down on either side which unlocks it. Um, then you have to flip it over. Uh, I usually use a, a utility knife or an X-Acto knife and carefully get under the corner of the uh, of the screen. Uh, it's glass, so you have to take it kind of slow. And then uh, there's a little strip of adhesive just down the center of the uh, of the screen, and I just slowly pry it up. Um, you should be able to reuse that adhesive. This one, uh, some adhesive stuck to the bottom of the screen, so I'm just going to pull that off and stick it up here again. And then all that's required on the bottom is to pull it out. Um, if you have a new one, uh, this, it's kind of the reverse. You, uh, you stick it up from underneath, put a finger on top, and gently push it in. You don't want to hold it from up on the screen here because then the ribbon cable is going to buckle. You want to hold it right on top of that thin part of the cable and push it in till um, I don't know if we can uh, see how far this is pushed in. You can still see the... Uh, the copper parts or the, the brass parts or whatever it is sticking out from the connector but it seems even right along there's a better angle you can still see all of the metal parts but it looks even from side to side there isn't one side that's in deeper than the other if you have to if you have to push it in uh, a little bit more to get it even again you hold it by this part and push it in a little further and then once it's uh once it's in, then you have to push both uh, of these holders in into the up position to lock it into place. And then there's uh, there's little marks uh, on the on the PCB that roughly give you the corners of where the screen needs to go. So you carefully fold it up, line up the bottom ones, and then line up the top ones and press it down and that's all that's uh, needed to replace it.